Hello guys, this is Wei and we're going to talk about how I feel about the Corsair K100 Air Wireless after 6 months of usage. I first got this keyboard late October last year. It was one of the most expensive non-custom keyboard around and unfortunately I don't have much of a choice because I'm all into that uh, Corsair RGB and peripherals. Well, except my mouse, I got a Logitech mouse. So before getting the K100 Air, I had the K100 with uh, Corsair RPX, OPX switches and before that the K95 and the K70 with MX Speed switches. I love all of them, but I really really wanted to get a wireless keyboard with RGB lighting to clear the clutter and I'm not gonna get the Logitech G915 because I'm in the, into the Corsair stuff. So in comes the Corsair K100 with a staggering price tag of 1300 ringgit price tag and I bit the bullet. Alright, so let's quickly go through the specs and build quality. The switches are Cherry MX Ultra Low Profile Tactile Switches, giving it that ultra thin and slim design. At the highest point, the keyboard is only 17mm or 1.7cm tall. The top frame is aluminum like every other premium Corsair keyboards, K995, K100, providing it with a very sturdy and hefty body at 780 grams. So full end key rollover, no ghosting whatsoever, comes with a dedicated button uh, for brightness control, profile switching, and the wind lock button uh, for when you're gaming and you want to block certain key, key buttons press. And then right smack in the center is where the keyboard informs of num lock, wind lock, wireless activity, and battery status. So it will flash yellow or red uh, depending on the battery. So on the other side of the keyboard, you get media control buttons uh, and a volume knob, uh, which is really nice by the way. And below that, you get four G keys for macro and shortcut. I very much prefer this layout than the K95 or K100 because having the G keys on the side makes it so long. So having the G keys above the numpad is so much better. The keycaps are dimpled uh, in the center, so it's really nice uh, when you press it. And it's got a semi-matte, uh, semi-gloss-ish finish. It's really nice to touch. I couldn't find what material is used for the keycaps on Corsair's website, but according to Artings and Tech Power Up, the keycaps are made from ABS plastic with a level etching legend and given a UV coating for that uh, nice semi-matte touch. And as you can see, after half year usage, uh, it doesn't seem polished yet and it still looks pretty much like new. I'll report back again if it ever does seem polished. Finally, the style of the show, the pinnacle of the feature set is its wireless functionality. You can either use this wirelessly with the Slipstream uh, 1MS USB transceiver, uh, which is what I have in my hand right now, um, right there, or with Bluetooth 4.2. You can quickly switch between three Bluetooth devices using the G keys above the numpad. Let's say you have more than one computer, you can just use the same keyboard for all of them without plugging them in. Super handy if you ask me. So, six months in, what do I like, what do I not like, and what I think can be improved? I gotta say, I love the RGB lighting. It is bright, uh, much brighter than you think it is, and there is a light sensor somewhere on the keyboard, I'm guessing uh, in the middle where the Corsair logo is, that allows the keyboard to automatically control the brightness uh, according to your surroundings. The keycaps are still good, uh, good as new as uh, six months in, which is great because you're not supposed to change the keycaps on this keyboard as it's really easy to break the switches um, from what I heard. So having them feel like new for as long as possible uh, is very important to me. This is something I wish uh, they could have done instead of locking us into one permanent set of keycaps. For such a premium price, the keycaps really ought to be more user serviceable. Um, otherwise, I love the design, it's slim, it's modern, uh, not loud at all, very minimal in fact. Just look at how gorgeous it is on my table. The battery life is great. I use my computer almost 12 hours every day with the RGB brightness set on, uh, on auto. And I only have to charge it once a week. So that's pretty much in line with, uh, with what Corsair's claim of 50 hours battery life with RGB effects. Um, I just charge my keyboard whenever I go away or go to bed. So charging time has never really been an issue for me. As a Cherry MX Red Speed and a Corsair OPX user, I'm really used to the type feel of linear switches and it took a bit of getting used to uh, to the tactile switches on the K100 app. I really hope they had linear switches for these, but maybe the height is a limiting factor. So even after 6 months of daily usage, my words of per minute on the K100 app is still significantly less than linear keyboards. I think this is due to the increased force or weight. Uh, 
required to actuate the key. As the travel distance is so small, the force required to actuate the key will feel more concentrated. However, these ultra low profile tech house switches don't exactly feel like the conventional full size tech house switches. So it really requires some getting used to, uh, especially with this one. So you will either grow to hate it or love it. The catch of this keyboard is the price tag. And with my feedback, it should give you a clearer picture whether or not this is a good buy for you. So leave that in the comments below if you have any more questions or if you have decided to get this keyboard, tell me how, how's your experience with the keyboard and tell me what else you would like to see from me. So please like, subscribe and ring the bell for more content from me. Cheers.